This is track and field shoes. And this is a track and field shoes. While this is a track and field shoes. And there are many more of them. Very confusing. But we are here to guide you. So, first of all, what is track and field? It is an Olympic sport which consists of 19 different contests. Running, jumping, throwing. Here's the full list of events. And in order to achieve highest result in each event, you need special equipment. Brands create special shoes for each contest. And you can see that Adidas have 9 models for 19 contests. Clearly, they are not covering them all. Some brands have better offer, some brands have less offer. But let's appreciate what we have. First, let's mention that almost all track and field shoes use spikes. They could be different in length, and these are the places where they are located. Let's start with running. For 100 meter sprint, you need the lightest shoes available. No lockdown, no stability, no cushioning. Adizera Finest. Shoes are weightless. During 100 meter sprint, runners only use the forefoot. That is why shoes are curved and supplemented with a rigid base, which is not flexible. Upper is extremely thin, and this material is pretty harsh which makes the shoes not very comfortable. Next goes 200 and 400 meters. During these contests, you have to tackle the turn, and that is why sometimes lockdown is reinforced in these shoes. Although Adidas do not have special offer for these distances, that is why athletes do use Adizera Finest. Further increasing the distance, we face 800 and 1500 meters. Even pro runners at this stage do use entire foot, not just forefoot. And that is why they need extra cushioning. For Adidas, it is Adizera Ambition. We see extra foam material in front and also small pads in the heel. Moreover, we see grip reinforcements in the heel, which prove our opinion. Upper is same weightless and a bit harsh, while carcass is less rigid. These shoes are also wider in order to increase stability. Overall, the shoes is a bit more comfortable, but just a bit. For 5K and 10K distances, there is a Desira Avanti. We see huge layer of responsive foam, Light Strike Pro, extra carbon rods to activate swing effect. They also have grip reinforcements in the heel. Upper is very thin and harsh. But these shoes are more about comfort rather than pure speed. But from running efficiency standpoint, comfort for long distances is better. Next, we have hurdles and steeplechase, which require runners to overcome obstacles. During the landing, they apply huge pressure on the shoes. That is why more cushioning and more lockdown is preferable. For Adidas, there are no separate models. Athletes have to use one among previous mentioned. Let's continue with jumping. During this type of events, athletes apply incredible amount of pressure during a single push. That is why shoes do need reinforcements. Let's start with a long jump. Adidas offer Adizero LJ. Model is significantly reinforced. We see much stronger upper with much stronger lockdown so that the shoes will not tear apart. We see reinforcements on the side so that the push will be directed only forward. We see rigid frame, which is not flexible at all. And most importantly, we see different spike scheme. They use 7 spikes in the forefoot and additional bumper for balanced takeoff. Next contest is triple jump. Adidas offer Adizera TJ. During triple jump, athletes land on the heel, transfer to the forefoot and make the push. That is why compared to previous model, we see extra grip on the heel, extra cushioning in the heel, and most importantly, support system on the inner side. The thing is that athletes apply enormous pressure on the landing, and in order to get smooth transition, even pro athletes need some reinforcements. Upper is strong and provides high level of lockdown, which is even further improved with Velcro. Next discipline is high jump. Adidas offer Adizera HJ. This discipline is not that demanding for speed. Rather than strong push, 
and unique technique. That is why we see spikes across the entire length, so that we secure that our moves will be precise. Upper is strong and supported with additional Velcro. And finally, there is a pole vault. Adidas suggests that these athletes do use triple jump shoes, since they are the one which provides speed and precision in movements. So this is Adidas setup for running and jumps. Next type of contest is throwing. And first thing you need to know about throwing, that this sport is for big guys. And therefore, these shoes need to suit big guys. Let's start with discus and hammer. This type of competition requires great technique and a lot of spinning. Adidas offer Adizera discus hammer for this purpose. It uses absolute slicks so that your spinning will be smooth. It has great upper reinforcement so that the shoes will not tear apart. And also, it has very strong velcro to secure lockdown. Next contest is shot put. This contest is slightly different, because you apply very strong push to the sides of the shoes. That is the reason we see greater bumper on the sides. Outsole have small adjustments, but still looks like slicks. Upper is reinforced even further to hold the foot. And final contest is javelin. Adidas offer Adizero javelin, absolute beast. During this contest, athletes need to gain the speed, make full stop and strong push. And all of this done by huge guys. This is why we see spikes across the entire length. They are supported with heel grip to make the stop. On the inner side, there is a foot support so that the shoes will not wobble during the throw. Upper is strongly reinforced so that the shoes will not tear apart. And lockdown is even further increased with velcro and high cut of these shoes. And just to add up, that there is a protection on the toes. And this is full Adidas lineup for track and field. You would ask, which type of contest is the most demanding for equipment? And there is clear answer – Decathlon. Because Decathlon athletes do need to have all of the shoes which were mentioned. On top of that, they need to have poles, because you use not just one pole during, during events. You need to have discus. Basically, you need to have a ton of equipment. And uh, when you see a taxi full of uh, track and field equipment, you do know this is Decathlon athlete go going to the events. And basically, this is part of the reason that only Decathlon athletes are allowed to make a celebration lap after they compete. Uh, so let's appreciate their effort. From our side, that is all for today. Please subscribe, keep well and enjoy running.